Hello, I'm Petru and you are watching WellCode and in this video I'm gonna tell you what's the best programming language to learn in 2019. Maybe you are watching this video because you heard about the big salaries for programmers, you wanna stop being poor in 2019 and you decided that you're gonna learn programming and become a software engineer and probably you started searching on Google about programming and everything gets so confusing when you do that. I totally understand your position. You hear about JavaScript, about Java, about C++, about Python, and about PHP, C Sharp, and all those programming languages, and you start getting discouraged because you don't know where to start, and that's perfectly normal. This was the most asked question in 2018. Hey, Petru, Petru, please tell me what's the best programming language, or tell me, well, Petru, if I start learning Java, do I have any chance for becoming a software engineer? If I'm learning C Sharp, will I work at Google? Is Facebook still using PHP? And all those various questions. And the thing is, the true answer, and I'm gonna give it to you right now, is that programming languages don't matter as much as you believe. It's not like there's a company which will give you $10,000 just because you know a programming language, just because you're very good at Java. A lot of people think that because Java is the most demanded programming language, that their chances of getting hired will be larger. The thing is that most of the companies use various programming languages it, internally, they have various projects, and it depends a lot on the purpose of the company. So Java is good for creating backend services, for, for doing desktop applications, or for mobile, while JavaScript is very good for the web. Basically, you can't do web without JavaScript. But if you start learning programming, you'll realize one thing. Even if you're using Java, even if you're using C++, the basic blocks are the same and no company will come to you and throw at you lots of money just because you know a language or another one. My advice to you is to stop worrying so much about programming languages. Just pick one. You can pick any programming language as long as it's not the assembly language and start learning it. Start learning it from scratch because if you understand the principles really well, the switch will be very easy. Petru, Petru, what are those principles? You're talking about principles but you forgot that I'm completely new. I don't know what the principle is. I don't know anything about programming. What are you talking about? Well, you're right. I was talking about principles, but I forgot to tell you what those principles are. Well, basically the computer is very dumb. He's so stupid. He's more stupid than a dog. I, I, I bet a dog is way clever than a computer. So what you need to understand is that the computer just executes instructions and you need to be very specific and you need to know how to write those instructions. So first of all you need to learn about what those what what a variable is then you need to control the flow of the instructions because sometimes you may want to skip some instructions. Let's say you want to log in on a website and uh, your password was incorrect so you want to you want to skip over the part where you log in. And that's one principle, how you skip some instructions. Another, another principle is how to repeat some instructions because you don't want to write the same thing for 100 times. You need to do it that in a clever way. If you are interested in what those principles are, if you want to understand more about programming, if you want to become a good programmer, go on wellco.com. We have a free course over there and you can start learning from there. And I guarantee you that things won't be confusing and even if they are confusing you can always write us a comment we reply to all the comments every day I remember when I was in high school I thought that well now I know C++ I need to learn a different programming language and then another one and another one and then I'm gonna throw my CV on the desk of the companies and I say Petru you're so good we wanna hire you we wanna hire you and we're gonna pay you double compared to what we are paying the others and that was my dream I started playing with PHP I started playing with Java and the thing was that no company came at me. I was still a high school student. No one wanted to hire me. And 
I switched back to Olympias because I saw it was, it was a dead end. There was no use for me to learn different programming languages because in order to create a big project I needed to master the programming language, not to learn a lot of languages which were doing almost the same thing. Then I decided to switch my strategy to go back to Olympias and I started training like crazy. And when I was in the first year of college and applied to all those companies for internships, I got lots of interviews. And the funny thing is that I didn't list a lot of programming languages. When I was doing my first interview, the first question, actually no, the second one, because the first one was if I can hear the interviewer, okay. So the second question was what programming language do I want to use for solving the problems and I asked well what are my options what can I use because I was comfortable with multiple programming languages and he told me well as as far as I'm concerned you can pick anything I just need to understand it so please don't pick don't pick assembly language or some very exotic thing I started solving the problems and I realized that it didn't matter after I got my first internship I realized that companies put a lot of effort into training the newly hired people into their own technologies and this is one thing that you don't realize at this moment because you're right at the beginning even if you know the programming language every company uses their own internal frameworks basically a framework is a layer on top of the programming language it makes things easier let's say you want to work on the web you won't use just javascript you maybe you'll use react or you'll use angular or maybe even only jQuery but you're still using a technology on top of the programming language let me give you another example let's say you are programming a mobile application and you need to talk with the server you may use a framework for that basically a server is a different computer which stores all the data and your mobile phone needs to communicate with it and you will use something to help you write shorter code and to make you more productive and this framework is very specific you'll need to learn it right at the job because there are so many frameworks right now if you're only searching for JavaScript frameworks you realize that there are maybe more than existing programming languages at the moment so even if you are very good at the programming language you probably won't know the specific framework that the company wants you to know the thing I want you to remember from this video is to stop worrying about programming languages I don't know any programmer who told me that because he learned this programming language he got hired everyone is talking about how they prepare for the interview interview, how they studied interview questions, how they became good programmers by working, by practicing and no one ever told me that well Petro I got hired because I knew I know Java. That's not the case. I wish you a great 2019. I hope you'll be very productive. I hope you will be very focused on your goal. If you have any concern related programming languages or your career please ask me that. I may also do a video about it so be confident. I wish you a great year. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and I wish you all the best. Even if you... Anais! <coughs> Anais! Okay. A company will come to you and... Uh, hello. 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 Hello.